Hello there, hello, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I am reading Sonic, I'm reading a super duper creepy, super duper scary story that is one of the best creepy bosses ever written. Well, actually, it's a sequel to the best creepy boss ever written because it's Sonic.exe round two, which you know this is gonna be good. It's been more to it's been more than a year Sonic.exe round two. It's been more than a year now since the Sonic.exe murders began to happen. And the police department still doesn't know who's doing it and why it's happening. The first murders looked as though the killer did a sloppy job at it. But over time the killings, or at least some of the guys back at the station thinks it's just killings, have gotten more elaborate. Bodies have been started to look like the victims just dropped dead, or they were disappearances. One thing is certain, all the victims seem to have a burned, destroyed computer with some data from a game called Sonic.exe. I mean, that's not really proof of anything really happening. Hmm. Yeah, by the way, don't download or don't download and play Sonic.exe or something very bad will happen to you, trust me. <laughs> None of us have found any connections or clues as to help us learn why all this is happening. Well, no, that's not true. There's one cop who has uncovered more about the murders than we ever did. The guy's name was Derek Green. A really good detective. Mainly because he was always teaming up with his sister, Chelsea. Chelsea, yes. They were assigned to leave. They were assigned to investigate the Sonic.exe murders. I should know because I was their boss at the time. They're both dead. Well, uh, that's a big spoiler alert right there. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I should have helped them. I don't know. Anyways, the boys have found Derek's diary. When we investigated his apartment, he should have been in his home. He should have been in his home for weeks. The diary recorded all of what Derek found in his investigation. My God, he did. He wrote. Did he write down a lot? Especially after the chief of police took him off the case. Why? For what exactly? <laughs> and a lot of what he wrote down seems to be connected a lot to what's going on with these murders, or at least I hope he was onto something. Here's what Derek wrote. 7.30 p.m. Uh, September 15th, 2011. Uh, if you really wanted to make this a really good story, you should have um, had it... Um, you should have had it start at 4.20 p.m., yes. <laughs> you know, maybe next time I'll do that if I, I eat another troll pasta. <laughs> right, right, right. So, anyway. Happy birthday to me. I got this diary as a gift for my sister, Chelsea. This will certainly come in handy if so we both, as we, when we both do another investigation. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Name's Sarah Cream. I'm a detective. Wow. Yeah, I'm not really good at this. Hopefully I'll get better at, as I write in this. Anyway, I'll let you know if anything happens. 11.22 a.m. October 24th, 2011. Hmm. We'll just have the mid-2000s edge, though. You know, maybe. Wow, pretty pretty interesting way to start off, the start up, start off a case on Halloween. Well, of course, what other time would uh, super spooky stuff would happen? Our boss told us there's a, there's a stiff in one of the local suburbs and he wants us to check it out. Well, it's been a while since me and Chelsea tackled a murder case. This might be interesting. We're in a truck right now. We're heading off, heading for the house. 2.30 p.m. Jesus, whatever happened in his house, it was not, I was not expecting. The victim looks like something ripped his mouth open and tried to yank something from inside i've seen a lot of messed up ways to kill a person but this is rather strange Ugh. i don't really think any normal person would do this uh why not there's no proof that anything uh, out of the ordinary happens really the cop the cop presence at the crime scene told us the kid looked like he looked like this for two days and his parents just discovered the body and called us in this morning Neglectful parents, guys! Aren't they so nice? What's really weird about it is this... Is... What's really weird about this is there's a badly made cut... 
in his on his chest that's shaped like the number one. Wait, one? Okay, that is weird. Chelsea told me she found a. Wait, what? No. Chelsea told me she found an, uh, found the clue, possible clue to the murder. She showed it. She showed us the victim own a computer. The computer's badly burnt and wrecked. Both me and Chelsea have a theory that either about the, to this, either the killer destroyed the computer or the victim did it himself. Either way, we went to the station for research. 6.10 p.m. All right, the guys at, from the lab have their reports. They told us the computer's wrecked from the inside and out. Wait, what? And what I mean by that is everything that was on, on the kid's computer was completely deleted while at the same time the computer got destroyed. What? Okay, then. The only thing it, that seems to still be in the computers is some data from a computer game called Sonic.exe. Well, you know what you should do, Detective? You should definitely play this game and find out what's going on. Definitely. It's definitely not strange or anything. Definitely not. <laughs> everybody knows in these types of games, even though the... Everybody knows in these types of stories, even though the supernatural is super duper common, the police don't believe any of it to be real. <laughs> hmm. 4.30 p.m. November 11th, 2011. A couple more murders these last few weeks. All these, all the same killing method. Dead bodies, torn open mouths, destroyed computers. The more recent killings are looking less messy. As if the killer is be, being more careful in tearing out whatever he's tearing out from the inside of the body's victims. There's also cut on these victims' chests that, that seem to be in numerical order. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Oh, no, not six. Six is a bad boy number, guys. <laughs> ah, where, was there, were they covered in hyper-realistic blood, too? <laughs> the killer seems to be keeping count of all the people he's killing. Yeah, that, that's going to probably make it easy to catch them, maybe? 8.30 p.m. Had dinner. Both me and Chelsea are brainstorming what's been going on. What's getting going on? It's really strange. The fact that computers are getting destroyed every time. There's a murder and we found there's some old data from the same game. Sonic.exe. That name reminds me of all the times me and Chelsea played our old Sonic the Hedgehog video games. I remember when we used to play Sonic Heroes. She always liked playing as Rouge the Bats and I always liked playing as Vector. Of course you did. Of course, Rouge, Rouge the Bat is super duper sexy. Or I mean, super cute. Yes. But it's weird. What does a Sonic game, a possibly fan-made one of that, got to do with the killings? Well, maybe you should play it and find out. Definitely do that. 2.45 2 p.m. December 2nd, 2011. Another murder. Big surprise there. Uh, well, uh, isn't your job to investigate these things? I mean, you made it clear that there's a serial killer on the loose. <laughs> hmm. But now both me and Chelsea agree all the murders are connected with that game. Uh, there's no real proof of that. Maybe the killer made it as maybe it as his calling card. Okay, that's a really weird calling card if true. The chief told us not to worry too much about a simple video game and just stick with what's going on with the murders. 6:30 p.m. Autopsy came in. The doctors told us that aside from the wounds from the chest and mouth, the victim doesn't show any signs. Of a murder or a struggle. In fact, it's baffling as it seems. All the victims appear to be in perfect health. Apart from the fact they're dead. I mean, they got their mouth ripped open and something pulled out. I wouldn't call that perfect health. I mean, you don't really have to be in any... Um... Ail you don't really have to have any ailment to get murdered, do you? <laughs> the air checked the word dead because... There, there, that's where the report came out really disturbing. The doctors say that they're all in what appears to be in persistent vegetative state. I mean, all these people are in fact still alive. Wait, what? So they're not dead? Question mark? Their brains and hearts are still working, but they're all in an empty, dead-like state, as if something robbed them of their mind or sense of self? Uh, are we sure about though they're alive? And okay. 
Oh, so they're in comas. I... Why are we investigating comas, then? Right, because it's strange, yeah. Chelsea well, so said it was probably the, one of the most freakish things she's seen in her days as a bike partner, and I don't blame her. Who would be capable of actually stealing people's sins of self? It's like the devil has handpicked innocent people and robbed them of their soul for eternal damnation. No, no, it's just Sonic.exe. <laughs> the Forge one... Oh, no. Whoops, I almost said 420. <laughs> 542 p.m. December 4th, 14th, 2011. Oh, yeah. Uh, wow, wow. Chelsea has been acting very strange lately. She seems quieter at work, and whenever I go home, she's back in her room. I guess she, she's just determined to learn more about this case than, as I am. If she's on to something, she'll, I hope she'll let me know first before we make it official. After all, we are a team. Uh-oh, she's playing the game, isn't she? 2 p.m. December 19, 2011. Chelsea didn't go to work with me. She said she wasn't feeling well. I'm starting to get a little worried about her. Ever since we took the case, she's been acting rather odd. I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting. Sure, definitely, yeah. Boss told me not to worry about it. Maybe look into what she was researching on. I might do that. After se Also, several news... Several news... Several news, uh, you know I mean, news reports about people worshipping this guy recently who calls himself X. Oh no! Oh no, that's... Calls <laughs> himself X. Oh no, it's the cult of X. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta reference cult, I gotta reference the cult of X whenever I write a creepypasta. Yeah, they're going to be the Illuminati of the creepypasta world for now on. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I swear, the things these kids will be into nowadays. Er, right, uh, kids, right. Those are what cults usually go after. You know, not adults do half all the money, yeah. 9.30 p.m. December 24th, 2011. Almost time for Christmas. I don't know if I... Though I don't know if I should celebrate. Chelsea's been shut in her room almost every day. Not responding to me. I hope she's alright. Anyway, I've been looking at Chelsea's work. I think she might have found something. Apparently, the killer must have been going after anyone who plays the Sonic.exe game. Oh, that's a very real silly reason to be a serial killer. And once they play the game, the killer tracks them down, kills them, and keeps counts of all the carved numbers on their chests. Oh, no. But what's uh, but what about the fact that almost every victim looks as though they had their souls sucked right out of them? Wait a minute, I just remember something a few days ago. Chelsea came home from the store and went back in their room and she found a new game. Oh my god, Chelsea! Wait, wait, you just noticed that you just noticed this <clears throat> Well thirty two AM. The writing is a bit sloppy and there's tears blotched here and there. Chelsea is dead. She found the game. Oh my god, why? 4.50 4. a.m. December 25th, 2011. I called the guys back to the station to help me move Chelsea. Oh god, why? Why her? Did the killer find... Did the killer find out... Did the killer found out, you mean? Did the killer find out, you mean? Tried to cut And tried to cover his tracks? No, it doesn't look... It doesn't look like anything was taken or destroyed, except maybe the murder computer... And the game is still here. I wanted to keep I wanted to keep it to find out why this happens. But Chief demanded I hand it over to him. The way he asked what up for it was really odd. It's as if he didn't want me to do anything to this game disc. Wait, the chief is on it! The chief is in on it! He's part of the cult of X! Oh no! The funeral for my sister will be prepared in a few days. I can't believe Chelsea, my own sister, is gone. When I find out who killed her, I'm going to make sure he pays dearly. Oh, so you say. 4.50, December 28, 2011. Came back from the funeral, got a MMS. Thankfully, boss was there for me. He's the only person who ever supported me in Chelsea. I'm glad he's on my side about this case. A woman came to me at the funeral party. Her name was Shannon Goldman, and she was supposedly a representative of the Cult of X. Oh, now there it is! As she called it, she told me she was 
Sorry for my loss and pulled out some weird religious crap about X wishing me a happy her year. Seriously, who is this X guy? Mm. <laughs> she told me soon X will make, thing make things better for the whole world. Which pretty much ended the conversation right there. That woman is crazy. Oh, are you sure about that, Mr. Protagonist person? Anyway. More news about the Cult of X doing more crazy stuff, wow. Whoever this X guy is, he's sure making as much an impact on the public as the killer is. Oh no. What if this mem what if this guy who's the head of the Cult of X that we know is the killer is actually the killer? Oh no! That'd be quite a shocking plot twist. <laughs> 2 20 p.m. January 2nd, 2012. Another murder, Jesus. This guy never has a break with what he does. This is like the sec 20 second killing. What's he What's he trying to gain from killing all these people? And how the hell is he getting away with it so goddamn easily? Oh, calm down on your language, dude. I gotta know what uh, I gotta know what it what it is Chelsea was finding. Maybe she was onto something. I just know it. Maybe if I look around in your room, I might find a clue. Uh, shouldn't you have already done this? Yeah, 5.30 p.m. Wow, it took you that long to actually get the clue? Alright, I guess he was on the job, I guess. Well, whatever Chelsea found, she found she left a lot of good clues for me. The computer wasn't entirely broken. In fact, it seems like it only got beat up a few times, but still working like new. I'm surprised I didn't see the see the it like this that night. But then again, if, but then again, if you lost someone you love, you two would lose sight of very important details surrounding you. Ah, uh, you really should have noticed. Anyway, I checked my computer and there's an icon for the Sonic that EXE game in her desktop. Uh oh. Uh, detective, please don't play that game. It seems like it was left for you on purpose. Yes, the Cult of X wants you to play it. Son Sonic.exe wants you to play it? Oh no! This is gonna be kind of mildly scary, I guess. <laughs> My god, how the hell did Chelsea even get this? I guess it really doesn't matter. What's really important is I found her notes. Apparently Chelsea was terrified of this game. Something from the game scared the crap out of her. In fact, according to what she wrote down, she made it seem like the game was cursed or something. But that can't be the case. There's no way a computer game would harm anyone, right? I mean, we established that this game has something to do with the computers, and it looks like the victims had their souls sucked out, and, uh... Yeah. So, def something definitely strange is going on. 7.12 a.m. January 3rd, 2012. Okay, changed my mind. Maybe there is something spooky about this game after all. Wait, what? Last night I had a dream, no a nightmare more like I remembered it well. I was trapped in DARKNESS within DARKNESS. All was quiet except someone was laughing and talking to me. I kept having visions of Sonic the Hedgehog smiling and appearing all around me as he tried as he talked to me. He told me to play the game over and over, each time sounding more impatient. When he got into my face and yelled, play it, that's when I woke up with a fright. Why would Sonic want me to play a game that possibly killed my sister? Sonic.exe wants to kill you too, that's why. Obviously. 3.30 p.m. Another murder, number 24, and the Cult of X seems to be pestering the public more and more. What's their deal? Don't they realize there's a killer on the loose? Ah, I'm sure they're not related or anything. Wait a minute. What is this X weirdo? What if this X weirdo is the killer? Wait, what? Why, you have no reason to actually believe that, do you? I mean, I know that X is actually the killer, and possibly, and I know it's Sonic.exe, but uh, the character doesn't know that. It would make sense. Ever since these murders started, this cult has been hanging around recruiting more and more people. And this X character, they've, they're worshipping who is he? Why is it? Why is it that this cult even started after several murders were taken, have taken place? I looked over Chelsea's notes and she seems to agree with me. Apparently X has something to do with the Sonic.exe game. Oh no, of course. 
They're behind all those spooky, um, cursed hacks that are out there in Creepypasta land, obviously. <laughs> I mean, they're the Illuminati, obviously. <laughs> Did he make the game? If someone could, if some, is he somehow, if he somehow got a hold of it and thought, hey, if I kill people with this game, people will like me. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's called, that's called, I believe that's what's called a creepy, that's, that's called a fan base. <laughs> if what X is doing is real, then there's, there is something seriously wrong here. 6.30 p.m. Unbelievable, the chief of police came over to my apartment a while ago and told me the investigation may be too much for me to handle. And he said I was off the case. What the hell? I practically found a lot of evidence for it and he practically told me that I shouldn't continue on. He also said Chelsea would have wanted me to quit af quit this, quit with this after what happened. Bullshit. Whatever. I'm going... I'm not going to let some fathead stop me from solving this case. I was going to find out who X really is. And why he's doing all this. And I'm going to turn him in. So are we going to actually play Sonic.exe in this uh, creepypasta? It seems like it's taking a while to actually get around to that. 5 p.m. Friday 8th, 2012. Yeah, more more journal entries, I guess. More murders. We're up to 28 now. The boss contacts me every now and again. And then, and then behind the cheese back told me whoever's causing all these murders is one smart son of a bitch. I can't really blame him as much as I hate to admit it. I have to give X credit for being able to kill 28 people so far. And he's not going to get away with it. Anyway, I looked over Chelsea's notes again. It seems like she wrote... It seems... It, and it, what she wrote down before she got attacked was very odd, nonsensical stuff about a Sonic plushie always watching her, spying on her. Oh no, it's a Sonic plushie from the, from the ending of the first Sonic.exe. Oh no. I never saw a Sonic doll in the apartment. Oh no, the Sonic plushie is alive and haunted by this dark spirit of Sonic.exe. Oh no, that's, you know, not really that scary. <laughs> then again, I never questioned my sister's sanity. She was always a smart one in things and it just pains me to realize how broken she was after she died. I didn't tell the boss about X or Chelsea's notes. I know he won't believe me, nobody will. I guess I'll, if you have to solve the case, you have to do it yourself. Are we finally gonna play the ga freaking game and get to, and get to killing? <laughs> 8.30 p.m. Someone sent me a friend request over Skype. He calls himself Cole. He said he can help me with the case, but only if I can trust him. I really don't have a choice. I'm willing to do anything if it, to put an end to this. Anyway, Cole told me first I have to get the files of all the victims in Sonic.exe murders. And that's what the news has started to call them now. That the police have confirmed the old game in the computers as evidence. Later that later on that on tonight, I'm gonna play I'm gonna pay the station a little visit. Eleven forty five PM. Jeez, what a close call. I made it back to the station. I managed to grab all the files and I had to run run in with the chief. He asked me what I was doing back in the station and I fled and told him I had to pick up a few things from my office and decided to take some time off. Thankfully he believed me, but it's strange. The way he talked to me sounded like he didn't believe me in the slightest. Guess he's in on the cult of X. I know it. <laughs> I mean, I can see that plot twist coming from a mile away. Anyway, I got the files just as Cole asked. I told Cole all the victims had the same occurrence as all of them were in dead like state as if their souls were sucked up and they were all numbered and that each computer of the victims had somehow de haven't, were somehow destroyed and had Sonic.exe inside their hard drives. Mm. Well said there's a reason why all the victims had Sonic that the used in the computer and boy I did not like the answer. The cult of X is involved. The members after get after someone gets killed steals the game. This the victims had the, the entire time and hides it away for a while until it shows up later on some random play at some random place to easily obtain it. These random locations could be anything. A game store, a pawn shop, a black market, eBay, Craigslist. Random, yet seemingly harmless deliveries. Anywhere. Anywhere that involves buying stuff. Ah, I know where to get that. Just guide it on, just get it on Amazon. Yeah, a uh, spooky totally cur- Yeah, I got a spooky totally cursed um, Sonic cat that Sonic fan game that's for sale. It's called Sonic.exe. 
I'm selling it for the low, low price of three night of three easy payments of three ninety nine. Do you want to try it? <laughs> yeah, I know it's I know it's connected to these burgers and everything. That's probably got a lot of national attention and anything, but you know, uh, you want it. <laughs> mm. That way, when the next potential victim finds it, Ian she will become the new owner of the Sonic.exe game until X comes to kill them and make. And then a member of the cult comes to steal away the game disc again, and thus the cycle begins anew. Uh, why doesn't X just take the disc then? Why does he need a cult member to do it? Hmm. I asked Gold why the cult is even doing this. He told me that X, the bastard, is clearly censored a holy figure to the cult, and they will do whatever it takes to be on his good side. What do they see in X, anyhow? Why do they like him so much that they're willing to be accomplices to murder? And yet, what kind of power does... Does X have to strike so much terror into people that they'll do whatever he says? Oh no. 3.20 p.m. March, March 1st, 2012. I can't hold it any longer. I can't hold it in. I can't hold myself any longer. I had to know what Chelsea found in the game, so I played it. Uh-oh. Oh, oh that, yeah, we should have probably been playing this game a lot sooner in this creepypasta. It seems like a lot of it is just... Yeah. This isn't... I'm starting to think this is not quite as good as the first Sonic.exe. At least the first Sonic.exe was was absolutely hilarious. Oh no. It started off pretty basic with the classic Sonic, the Hedgehog title screen until it started. Sonic, his eyes had, had gone black and there were red glowing dots staring at me. Anyway, when I got to the character selection screen, yes, the game apparently has one. Uh... I was shown a character lineup, Shadow, Sally, Rouge. Wait, what? This isn't like Sonic.exe1. Rouge was Chelsea's favorite character. I chose not to play as her out of respect for Chelsea and chose Shadow. That laugh, it sounded like the laugh Sonic made when I dreamt in, the, in that dream I had. You mean the Kefka laugh? The game started with a level called Let's Play. And I was shown Shadow standing in front of what appears to be a hallway of mirrors. With faint echoing sound of a piano playing a calm melody in the distance, I had Shadow walk down the hall, and every time he walked past the mirror, I was introduced to a more twisted, messed up version of myself in the mirror. His reflections, red markings, were oozing red as if he was bleeding, and his eyes were bloodshot to the point that they were red, bleeding and pulsating, and he had possibly the most psychotic grin on his face. It's like I was knowing... It was like I was looking in a... At a walking fountain of blood. Was it hyper realistic blood? Yeah, we got another instance of blood, guys. Take a drink. <laughs> I had Shadow walk past the last mirror and the music stopped. Shadow was now walking down a completely an empty, quiet hallway. I had this growing sense of dread in my stomach. Then Shadow stopped at one of the mirrors. He stopped right at it, showing his weird bleeding reflection. And then the laugh that laugh came up in. Then that laugh came again, and I saw that the real shadow was complete, was slowly transforming into his reflection, bleeding and smiling. What the hell kind of game is this? And then Sonic appeared with those black and red eyes, red tears coming from it down, down his face. He smiled as he looked at Shadow, and then once the screen went black, a message came on screen. It's not, uh, it's not the outside that's important, it's who you are on the inside that really intrigues me. Uh, okay. Well, uh, Sonic.exe has some um, good dating advice. <laughs> hmm. When it came back to level, Shadow was sitting on the floor, cradled in a half-fetal position like a child, just grinning that freaky grin. Then Sonic smiled as he looked at me, and he lunged at Shadow, the screen go going black with a loud pixelated screeching noise. I could feel as if I could hear it ring in my ears. That laugh came again in another message. You're learning more about this game than anyone, aren't you, Derek? What, 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 what the bleep? How the hell did this game know me? Oh no, this doesn't make any sense. Oh no, oh no, it's a game. The game is reading the files on this computer, dude. Wait, what? Isn't this a sister's computer? Oh no, the game is breaking the fourth wall. Um, Sonic.exe is super duper real, guys. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Finally, we're having fun with this. This doesn't make any sense. 
I know! <laughs> <laughs> it brought me back to the main menu. I saw that Shadow was now in one of the TV screens, looking like he did earlier. Only rather mindlessly happy. I had to turn the game off. My stomach hurt too much from all this. Was this what Chelsea found? A haunted computer game? And now some guy is using this as an excuse to kill people just to gain a cult? I don't get it. Why is this happening? Who is X? Who is X? Who is X? Sonic! 4.30 p.m. March 2nd, 2012. I've come to a conclusion. It's obvious that X is no ordinary human being. In fact, in fact, I no longer think he is human. Fulfilled me on, 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 you know, about him. X is really called Sonic.exe. Named after the game that's causing all the trouble. Cole Skype me recently that Sonic.exe has been around long before the game did. <laughs> oh no! Sonic.exe is a primordial, obviously! <laughs> yeah, Sonic.exe, he's a dinosaur, apparently. <laughs> oh no! I asked him what X was exactly in his answer and nerved me. Sonic.exe is a monster! Oh no! No, not like the monsters you see in horror movies or video games! He is a real monster! See, you heard it right, guy. You heard it here first. Sonic.exe is totally a real monster, guys. He's not some villain from a from a video game or a horror film. No, he's a real monster. <laughs> oh no, and he's not just any monster. Apparently, Cole told me that X is a supernatural being from another dimension. <laughs> Wow, this actually really picked up really nicely. I like it. <laughs> of course he's from another dimension. Yeah, he's from the dimension that Elvis and his followers are from, from the um, Great Garden, obviously. Yeah, he's from the Fire World. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. How fucked how bleeping crazy is that? But it's true! <laughs> you heard it right here, it's true! <laughs> it has to be! X has the power to control all of reality in his realm! And he is unable to do the same in our realm because he can't enter it! Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Some time ago, someone made a game disc to serve as a window between X's world and ours! Whoever plays it gets a front row seat to what X's dimension looks like, and it is hell! Not literal hell, but pretty freaking close! Wait, what? <laughs> uh, so, it's diet hell, apparently! <laughs> Over time after... Someone plays X's game, X will send out a plushie of Sonic to act as a spy for him. Then when the time is right, X will open a window for a short time and pull people into his world where they are trapped forever. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. This is how he's able to kill people so easily without anyone noticing. He comes off out of the computer, pulls the soul out of the person's body, and then goes it back into the computer to retreat into his dimension. Then he can make the slowly captured his slave for all eternity. Oh no! <laughs> mm. If I was told about this a long time ago, I would not have believed it. But now I'm straight up convinced. Everything Cole told me is the truth so far. Right now I'm writing this all down. Not right now I'm writing down all of what he's, what he's telling me, just in case the some of, just in case any of this information becomes useful. Oh no. 6.30 p.m. Cole told me he has to go. He's he's get he'll get in trouble if he gets caught talking to me. But he'll tell me but he says he'll Skype me again. Until I ask him to write down the names of the potential victim. Then until then I'm asked to write down the names of any potential victims at the this time. I also asked him to keep an eye out. The cult is getting suspicious. Oh no, they're getting so Oh no, Cole, t Cole is definitely, Cole is a, Cole is a double agent for the cult, yes. Maybe. 
4.30 p.m. on April 22nd, 2012. Mm. 20th, 29th murder and no word from Cole yet. I escaped from a few members of the cult and anybody that might be involved. I can't trust anyone now. I need to stay in my apartment more often so no one finds me. The person killed this time was a middle-aged guy named Paul. He was very paranoid of the outside world and anything could traumatize the poor guy. Apparently he had Sonic the... He had a Sonic Adventure 2 game to stay sane and he played as Dr. Eggman. I bet you X made the poor man a vegetable in, the, in his world by now. Oh no. May 4th, 2012. I just realized something. Why is it that the Chief tried to get me off get me off the job? Why did he confiscate the damn game disc? Why, why, has, why has he practically intercepted every one of mine and Chelsea's moves in this case? I'll tell you why he's in on this. He's working for the Cult of X! Oh no, the plot twist I saw coming! It turned out it was a plot... It was... It was this! Oh, it turns out the plot twist I was saying was coming all along came! Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he's working with the Cult of X, it's the only explanation! He took the game disc so the cult could use it to continue with the killings? Oh, but the boss, oh, the boss, he can't be involved, he can't be involved in this too. He's mine and Chelsea's friend for years, no, no. I don't think he will ever go through, go in on this, matter of fact. I don't even think he knows about what's going on, damn chief, why did you do this? When I uncovered this conspiracy, I'm ratting you out. Oh, no. It, August 12, 2012. False called in two more murders, 30 and 31. Some kid named Tom hanged himself. Weeks before gaining a package from his deceased friend Kyle. Wait, what? Oh no, it's the protagonist from the first game! Oh no! Not surprising, Nate Bill played the damn game. Kyle played it first and passed it on to Tom before X could get him. Kyle tried to put up a good fight against X, but he was clearly no match for the fiend. Kyle tried to warn Tom not to play the game, but Tom did it anyway. Yes, because Tom is a very smart horror protagonist. And decided to play the game that his friend was like, Yo, this game is super duper cursed and you shouldn't play it. And Tom was like, Oh, cool, a Sonic dot, a cool a Sonic game. I want to play it. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> X, X uses as an advantage to mess with poor Tom's head, making him believe, his curios believe that his curiosity and wanting to help others was what caused his best friend's suffering. Tom tried to commit suicide by hanging in order to save himself from X, but apparently it failed. X is not only it's not only more it's not only dangerous and powerful, he's downright sadistic and insane. He keeps he thinks that all the horror, horrific things he's done is all part of it, some silly game. X you monster, why are you doing this? What are you trying to gain? Mm. August 24, 2012. Played more of the game! Of course, this is a smart thing to do after uh all the information we just went through. <laughs> Oh, well, this detective is also a super duper smart horror protagonist. <laughs> mm. Played more of the game. The, so the level Sally was in was rather odd. She was in what appeared to be an old desolate city. The sky was dark, was a dark, dull, was a dull, dull, dark mixture of clouds. Everything was dull and empty, dead, no music. What was weird as well. How she was smiling. Maybe she found something good. No, that wasn't the case. I had to run and jump past debris. She reached into the level. Sonic No X was there. She smiled at him. He smiled back. Another message. See, I'm not such a bad guy, Derek. Then another. I can be kind if I want to. And show the X holding Sally. Sam smiled, smiling warmly at her. She looked different now. Her eyes were soon shut in her palette. And her color palette seemed Darker and edgier. Oh no. Excellent. Excellently placed his hand around her head. I really do love humans, Derek. So much fun to play with. In fact, you could say. It showed a close up of X with a wide back grin, violently snapping Sully's neck. She was still smiling as though she didn't feel any pain from it. They're the ultimate toy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I almost gagged at that. The main menu showed Sally. I showed Sally. I had I her 
TV screen, you mean in her TV screen, still in her darker states. She was still smiling. She couldn't possibly have enjoyed any of that. Uh, Mr. Derek, that's called masochism. <laughs> yeah, that's called masochism. 8.30 p.m. Cole just called me. He told me all the characters you play as in the game are all the exes slaves. Turn in horrific parodies of Sonic characters. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> I mean, of course. At least, and at least, him turn in two of their favorite Sonic characters. Oh no! Does that mean that Chelsea got turned into Rage the Bat? Oh no! Sonic sets them up randomly in each game to show us humans what's in store for us. Wait! Oh god, no! No! <laughs> I won't do it. I won't play the game just to watch watch you harm our ex. Bleep you! And all caps, so you know it's super serious. August 25th, 2012, more information on X. X has seven guardians ruling over the ruling over his world alongside him. They're essentially an extension of EXE himself, made with from his power combines with powerful emotions of humans. Each guardian is named after an emotion they were born from. Keto prayer issue sorrow kiku rage. Oh no, random Japanese names. Yari Hatred, Kofudu Happiness, Kofi Fear, Yobara Desire. Ah, uh, what? This is just getting nonsensical now. Yeah, I'm starting to think the author of this was not only really into Sonic, but also kind of a weeb. <laughs> <laughs> she created these not... She created these beings not only to maintain the order of the of his world, but to cause trouble in hours. They corrupt humans and make them more susceptible to X snatching them away by manipulating their emotions. For example, Gikato can bring out your anger, and make you violent towards other while Yokoba can make manipulate your desires and confuse you as with what's real and what's what's reality and what's not. Uh, what? <laughs> also, Cole informed me that for me that X plans one day. To one, to one day permanently cross over into our world, so that, so that way, cross over into our world, so that, that, that way, so that, that way, his reality will merge with ours, and mankind will become excess slaves for eternity. But how, how does he accomplish such a feat? Well, things like cult is make, is thinking up ways to make it so. Oh no! But so far, their attempts have been, so far, none of their attempts have been successful. Apparently, their knowledge in computers is not as superior as the original creator of the disc. I guess why Cole knew so much about this. I know what compelled me to ask, but I'm ge but I'm guessing it's a nagging it's nagging me for some time. Dear God, please, Cole. He revealed himself. He revealed that he was a member of the cult of X, but he didn't like what he was getting into and stop and tried to stop the cult. At least until X got to him first. Now he's stuck in X's world. Wait, what? Oh no! Oh no! He said he's lucky to have even found me, since the window is still there. Anyway, he's telling me that he has information how to stop X and the cult's plan. Oh no, is he gonna- what is- what, what, what's the plan? The best way he knows how to stop X and this tracks is a destroyed disc. That way, his only way in and out of our worlds will be gone and he won't be able to cause any more trouble than ours. The chief still has a disc. I need to prepare to get it back. X got Cole. I was in the middle of talking to Cole while preparing and then got disconnected. When it reconnected, the Cole's username changed to X. X told me that Cole has been cheating and he needs to be punished. And that he posted ha over and over and over. God damn you, Sonic.exe. My hands are still bleeding from shattering the screen. I didn't care not anymore. It's time to end this. I am going I'm gonna go get that damn disc and destroy it. If I don't if I don't write back after the final entry, well, let's just say whoever finds this, whoever reads this diary, please find it as instructive as you can. Everything you've read about the, my diary is the truth. X is a monster from another world, and the cult of X is conspiring to have him take over the world! This cannot happen! Oh no! <laughs> I hope whoever finds this and tries to put an end to this madness, this game will get... This is a game, a game on a bigger scale. We are all pawns in an elaborate chaotic game where the rules have been devised by the mind of a monster. Oh no. Please do whatever you can, friend. He must be stopped. Goodbye and good luck, Derek Green. Oh no. 
This was Derek's last journal entry. He wrote this three weeks ago. Today is his birthday and now he's dead. I wonder why he's acting this way he... I wonder why he acted the way he's been... He was during these horrific... During these horrible events. I was worried about my friend, but I never bothered to find out why at this time. I feel so stupid. Derek tried to fight this battle alone, and I did nothing. I haven't heard from Derek in three weeks. And yesterday I got an email from someone named Cole. It was strictly addressed to Bob... Bob Richardson. That's my name. I clicked on it, and it was an audio tape of... Well, that was made on September 13th. That was made days ago. That was made a day ago before I got the email. I clicked on it. This was what was on the audio tape. Recording sirens, a man starts grunting and yelling at two, as two people are dragging him into the room. Derek, get your fun, get your bleeping hands off me, you bleep, you crazy cultist freaks! The sound of high heels is heard as another person enters the room. Jen Goldman. Wait, what? That's a person who. That's a person who gave- that's a person that was- that's a cultist! That was near the beginning of the story! Is this what you would call the- Isn't that what you would call the Christians and Satanists, Mr. Green? Wait, what? Oh, no, what- what, what are you talking about? What? Gold man struggling hard. More high heel sounds as Goldman approaches Derek. Derek, why do you deny X? Don't you see he's trying to do- what he's trying to do for everyone? He only wants to make our world as happy as he is! Happy? You think stealing souls and turning them into puppets is being happy? Our planet is not his toy box, you bleep! Oh no. Mm, gold man. More coolly. It's not your place to decide what X wants with humanity, Mr. Green. He is a fine being that wishes to make humanity happy by showing us the paradise that is his world and taking us from this wretched filth of, the, of a planet we've been forced to live on. Eric is struggling. Some of us actually like this plant, Goldman. X's world is nothing but more than a prison. All X cares about is making us his plaything for all eternity. Can't you see that? It's not fair. Goldman, serious, surprisingly angry. What do you What do you know about What do you know about what's not fair? More than you, obviously," said Derek. <laughs> a loud slap is heard, and Derek falls to the ground. Goldman, quietly, you fool. X chose me to be. To be his most loyal, to, to be his most loyal, his most loyal what, uh, henchman? Because he, because he knew I would never, I never liked this plant. He knew I wanted to get rid, he went, he knew I wanted to be rid of stupid human, the stupidity humanity is causing. I'm perfectly okay with being ex slave. If it means getting away with, getting away from it all, getting the peace I did finally deserve after all this time. And, ev and if everyone's gotta go. With me, then too, bleep, too bleeping bad. Oh no. Oh no, Derek is chuckling but shakily. Whatever, it doesn't matter anymore because I'm going to stop you once and for all. Oh, what are you going to do with what I presume? Pull something out of his coat. With this. Wait, what? Cole told me the only way that X can enter our world is to collect souls with, th is to collect souls with this. Well, not anymore. A loud snapping noise is heard. Cole told you about... Cole told you... Oh no, Goldman start a loud sapping is heard a silence is heard, Goldman starts laughing. Goldman, so cool. Told you that, huh? A smart boy, even geniuses tend to get their information wrong. Derek, what, what do you mean? Easy. High heels as Goldman walks across the room. It's true that X cannot enter our world unless someone has a place as the disk in the computer system, but I'm curious, Mr. Green. I sound Goldman has been putting pulling something out of her pocket. Which made you think that that disc in particular was the original? Wait, what? Oh no, there's more than one disc! Oh no! Oh no, is that super duper scary? Derek's- no, no it can't be! A brilliant theory, I might add, but I'm afraid it's your last one, detective! The sound of this is inserted into the DV driver's heard. No, no, let me go, you can't do this! And a strange supernatural sounds are heard, and the audio breaks up and distorts, and a new person walks in a room as Derek screams for his life. Oh no, it's X. Hi, Derek. No, no! Ready for round two? I mean, uh, what? Then the loud screeching... Then loud screeching noises are heard as the audio distorts more badly. Derek is screaming. Sonic.exe is laughing. As there is a loud tone playing sped up in reverse. Sped up and in reverse and loud. Fast drum-like rhythm is booming loudly through the whole audio distorts. 
and breaks up, finally ending in static. The audio tape ends. After hearing this, I've never felt so helpless. Both my friends are gone, taken from me. There's nothing I can do about this. I'm a useless cop after all. But I hope some, someday someone somewhere is able to put a stop to this. To do what I have failed to do, I have hope. I have to believe there's a chance of winning this. Because if there's no hope, there's no chance. Sonic.exe wins, wins the game? Oh no. <laughs> this was absolutely 100% amazing. This was 100% the most. This is 100% absolutely amazing. But this is not quite as good as Sonic.exe won. So instant zero stars. All right, uh, anyway, uh, that's the end of the stream, guys. Uh, let's... All right, now let's go see who's on so I can, um... Let's go see who's on so I can raid them real quick, uh... Hmm. All right, who even is on right now? Hold on for a minute. I'm just going to go over to Twitch real quick. Alright, I know. I know just who to go for. Whoops. I know just who to go for. Um, let's see. Um, Raid plus Charm. There we go. And I will see you later. Remember to play games and have fun, guys. And remember, definitely don't play Sonic.exe. It's totally cursed and haunted. After all, Sonic.exe is definitely a real monster. And if you play this game, and if you die in the game, you die for real. A Moonbat Raid. There we go. Also, I'm not cute now. Goodbye.